Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching. Tonight is a question about heaven and it's from the beautiful Arlette in California, USA. She's emailed me, is there um, a question about hell? She says, I've been wondering about our life review when we pass over. When we think about our lives while we are still here and feel truly remorseful and or admit to all that we have done to hurt others, can the feeling of remorse and the pain we caused be reduced or eliminated in heaven so that whatever negative events we are conscious of and remember during our lives that we wish could have had a happier outcome we will then be shown, but it won't sting as much. And then all the negative things we don't remember and are not conscious of, are those occurrences going to really sting much more when they are shown to us in heaven? So Arlette in California, thank you so much for your question. And I always say it, guys, if you do have a question that you want me to answer for you, my email is below in the description, okay? Contact me and I will certainly do a video with regards to your question. If you want to stay anonymous, that's fine. Just tell me, let me know what country you're in so I can say a person in Afghanistan to, per se, okay? So let's go there from our let's question. I'm going to break it down and talk about my own experience and what I believe to be somewhat the truth about what does occur to us and we've got to remember I was up in heaven myself for about five years and I'm also basing all my answers on I'm just going to go there now and say 10,000 I used to say thousands and thousands of NDE accounts but I'm just going to go there now with 10,000 near-death experience accounts that I've actually researched over the years you remember I've been doing this for 20 years okay so let's have a look about our life review when we pass over. We obviously do think about our love, our lives while we are still here, right? And feel truly remorseful and or admit for the ways we've hurt others. Now, I, in my book, Five Years of Heaven, Heaven, which is here, when I'm in my life review, which is these three guys here, these three energy beings that I'm standing in front of. I had to pick out my memories. And as I was picking out my memories, um, I was holding them in my hand. So there's a photo out of my book where I'm holding a little screen and it's in a round like an energy ball. A lot of people say things like, I saw a memory in a balloon or it was in a sphere or a bubble. So it was like an energy orb. That's what I call them, energy orb. Okay, so a lot of people have had very similar experiences to what I had personally. So there's a picture straight from my book, right? So when I had to re-experience that memory, I had to relive it as it was now. And if it was somewhere where I had hurt someone or I had made them happy, that emotion that they felt was tenfold, a hundredfold. Sometimes I'd even say it was a thousand times worse or better because some of the experiences were really good, right? Imagine you make someone smile. Just that of emotion that causes this ripple where it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until wham, that's how you feel it. Okay, so a little smile starts here and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until how we feel it. Okay, so it's like a wave of emotional attachment or a wave of emotional connection because I firmly believe in my next book, which is called Consciousness Explained, everything we perceive or aware of is part of an energetic connection to our consciousness okay so let's go there with what she said all right do we feel truly remorseful and or admit to all the things that we've done to others 
in our life review, we have no other option. We sit there and go through it until we do find that peace and forgiveness to ourselves. You know, some people say to me, how long did, was I in my life review for? Some memories, I, I estimate it was 45 minutes. Others, it was hours. Because you really do sit there and contemplate, why did I do that for? Why did I, what was I doing that day where it led up to all that stuff as to why I did that action to that person or I said those words, which is an intention of pain that I caused to somebody else. So let's just go there back to this. So what, so that whatever negative events we are conscious of and we remember during our lives that we wish could have had a happier outcome we will be shown but it won't sting as much okay what do i teach now guys pure and simple we don't have to go back and because we can't obviously we don't have time machines right yet but we cannot go back even to yesterday last year a decade ago or even when we were children 50 odd years ago for me we can't go back in time and fix or heal that occurrence which orchestrated those motions of um, into play that has now left that, left that ripple of consciousness, right? So when we have to heal it, what we have to do is heal it now because the big thing about heaven is there's no time and no space. It is pure energy. So... Let's just say when I was five, I don't know, I pinched someone, okay? And they went, ow! I now go back into that memory and I can heal it now because we heal it by forgiving ourselves for doing what we did. We forgive ourselves for reacting to someone else's words the way we did so it's all about us we don't heal why that person abused us we don't heal why that person hit us we don't heal why that person swore at us and sarcastically accused us of stuff because that's up on them to heal it we only have to heal what we have created through that ripple effect okay itchy nose wow Okay, so Arlette, let's get back to her question. Okay, all right. So how do we get a happier outcome? Is we go back into these memories and we fix it now. This is what I try to teach people all the time. Don't judge, don't accuse. Okay, they're two of my little mottos, pardon me. Okay, they're two things that I live by every day. Don't judge people and don't accuse people of why they do things. I personally, pardon me, I don't like the word why. Why haven't you taken the bins out? One, that makes me sound like I'm controlling you to make you do something you don't want to do. And two, it shows that I am superior to you. Go out down, thou shalt go out now and remove that rubbish from that bin because I dictate your life. Do I have the right to tell anyone else in their life what to do? So don't use the word why. It's accusing and it's judgmental. It accuses the other person. What have you done to might not do what I wanted you to do? So it's accusing. And the other one, it's judging. Why haven't you done it? Why is a judge? Okay? So we don't ask those questions. We just simply allow other people to do what they want. When they want it, thank you very much. And the more we allow others to do what they want, you know, my whole family just went away for Christmas and not one of them is bothered to ring me and say they're back. But I allow this, okay? I allow it because I am not going to create an energy wave based on the negativity that they have generated okay think of it that way all right so we don't get involved with other people's dramas 
We don't get involved with other people's emotional attachments to things, okay? Because all we have to ever concentrate on in heaven is the energy and the emotions that we create ourselves, okay? We don't have to worry about whatever anybody else does, okay? All right, so, so the last part of Arlette from California, hello, last part of her question. So there's the front and there's the back, okay? <laughs> you don't want to know how I write. I write worse than a doctor. Oh, wait, I am, but not a medical doctor. Okay, what if we truly forgive ourselves of all we have done in this lifetime before we pass, remember or not? Oh, I'll let, I love your thinking there, girl, because that's what I'm trying to teach us all. Okay. Does that completely eliminate the pain during the life review? I wonder if and when we would ever feel like if we have truly forgiven ourselves or are we always seemingly to try to do it? Guilty feelings can really get in the way. All right. Let's just go there. What if we can truly forgive ourselves right now for everything we've ever done? That's when we don't have any grudges or regrets. Wow. The only reason why we have a regret, oh man, I wish I'd bought that thing 20 years ago. It would be worth a fortune now. Don't hang on to it. Because as soon as we put ourselves into that past emotion, we're creating the hell loop. You don't want to go there. I've talked about hell before on my videos. Okay. Okay, so if we hold on to grudges, a grudge is when we accuse someone of doing something and then we hang on to it. Okay, a typical grudge. Okay, I like saying this one. You go to the beach for the first time and you're all excited. You get down, getting down on the sand, you see the water and ouch, you get stung by a crab on the sand. You go home, <laughs> I got stung by a crab. So you forever blame that crab for wrecking your day. So you'll never go back to the beach again, which is the grudge, because you blame someone else for what happened to you. If you're really paying attention, you would have seen the crab and not stand on, stood on it in the first place, right? And if you did stand on it accidentally, then maybe, uh, did you squash the, the crab? Did you hurt the crab? Did anyone ever think that you hurt the crab? And all you're thinking about is the, the fact that it bit you? Well, well, put yourself into the crab's shoes. It's seeing this huge foot come down on it, so of course it gets its little pinches out in self-defense. <laughs> so we hang on to grudges because we blame someone or something for things that didn't go right in our life. Because we feel privileged. So get over feeling privileged. Okay? Stop deserving things and just allow things to unfold. We've all got life contracts. We all have already written into our lives what we will and won't have in our life. And that's actually going to be one of my videos in the next couple of days. Oh my gosh, where did I write that? Oh my gosh, where did I write that? Um, here it is. The value of having nothing. It's going to be one of my videos in the next few days. Okay? Because this is how we get grudges and regrets. By blaming other people for things that don't turn out the way we want. So you heal it now and you say sorry. I'm really sorry to myself that you went to the beach that day. I'm really sorry that you didn't get the excitement that you went down and had a set beach. Um, get it into the water. I'm really sorry that you went home in pain. But maybe this is a lesson. So next time you look at the sand to see if you're going to get eaten by a crab, right? Maybe in the future this could be something to say, hey, maybe you should wear shoes. Maybe this is a lesson to be aware so we don't get into accidents in the future. So you look at all the other possibilities of opportunities that come out of things, okay? And you say to yourself, I'm really so truly sorry. Let's go to the beach again. We'll have a fun day. Because now we're correcting that energy from our own past. Okay? Because only we can fix our own pain. I honestly say, in my life right now, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six people who are in so much pain because they're blaming me for things that have happened in their lives. 
The only person who can fix their pain is them. I only have to pay attention to my own pains. And I think I've done a damn good job of getting through three divorces, loss of a child, major operations, brain tumour, broken neck, cancer in the throat. I think I'm doing a damn good job, right? (laughs) Hello. So let's go there. Okay. So would we ever get to the part where we have truly forgiven ourselves? I'm going to be honest, Arlette. I have already forgiven myself for everything I've ever done. Why haven't you? It's a tough call because you've got to go through all the memories and all the people in your past. I went through all my past boyfriends and husbands and neighbours that I've hurt, people that have made happy. Oh my God, I remember that day on that bus when I said those nice words to that guy. I'm going to forgive myself and neutralise that energy field. So when I get up in front of these three people again, doing my life review, and I'm pulling those memories out of this box, guess what? They're already neutralised. Because energy does not operate on time. So as soon as we heal something now, we've healed it back then. This is quantum physics. This is quantum mechanics. And this is also string theory by location, interdimensional consciousness. Wow! So when we're talking interdimensional consciousness, it means that I'm aware right now in my three-dimensional world right now of it the, the day being the 8th of January 2023, but I'm going to travel through this dimensional pathway, vortex, time loop, time warp, whatever I call it, and I'm going to go back to that day when I was at memory, I'm going to relive it right now. I'm going to take my back self right now, right back to 1968 and I'm going to stand there at the beach and I'm going to say, I'm sorry that you hurt your foot when you got eaten by the crab. This is how we heal it. Okay? You don't have to go back and and say, oh my God, mum, I'm really sorry that I made you upset and I was bawling that day. We don't have to do that because that's something she has to deal with for her reaction to what happened to us. Okay, so when we look at our lives, we can heal every single thing that we have ever done. And you know, the best beauty of it is, is that when we say to ourselves, I today, the 8th of January, 2023, and it's now 7.17 p.m. as I'm recording, right now today, I give so much love, support and forgiveness for every action where I have ever hurt myself or any other person or thing or being. If I ever broke a pencil, you know when you get angry and you throw a pencil down and it breaks? I'm really sorry to that pencil because that pencil had energy. That pencil, even though we can't see it, it has a consciousness Everything has a consciousness because everything is made of natural fibers. Even plastics with some sort of natural fiber. Every living thing has a consciousness. Plants, rocks, oils, fuels, waters, gases, our bodies, everything that we then create things with like cars, jewellery, clothes, keyboards, mouses, pens and the ink inside the pen. It's all a consciousness. It's all energy. Okay? So as soon as we say to ourselves, I give myself permission right now today, I want to heal all my past hurts that I've ever done to myself or to that person, that person, and all those other people, for all those people at that school who I ever offended, I am truly sorry. We don't have to go back to them and say, I'm sorry. We heal it in our own perspective. And that's what I've already done. 
We can all do this. You lie on the bed and you just go back into memories where you've hurt someone or they've even hurt you. Okay, let's go there with that one. All right? I've been hurt by a lot of people in my life. A lot of people have always thought it was their job to attack me because I'm a psychic and they want to put me down. So I lie in bed and I say, I forgive myself for reacting to the way they treated me. The way they treated me has got nothing to do with me. It is none of my business how or why they think I've done whatever. Whatever they are now doing, all these attacks and screaming and sarcastic abuse that they want to give me, that's on them to heal. And one day it's going to be a thousandfold when they're standing there and they've got to look at this little memory where they're attacking Linda and they go, oh my God, this is tenfold, a hundredfold or a thousandfold. Wow. <laughs> so wouldn't it make sense that we start realigning all this energy now? You think? So you go back into it and you find that peace. You send all your memories, love and light. You say, you know what? At the end of the day, you were only doing what you thought you could. You didn't think you had other options. And you didn't know any better at that time. You didn't know how to negotiate. You didn't know how to talk nicely to people because of our upbringing and all this other stuff that could have been thrown in the mix. How can you ever tell somebody who is, like, like this is an analogy I say, how can you ever explain to someone what the beach looks like if they live in the desert? So if you're brought up in the desert where it's, you, you know, like all these um families where they just fight all day and you know it's totally dysfunction how do they ever get out of that unless someone shows them what other options there are so that's where we can find that perspective and say these people i don't dislike them i don't hate them i don't feel sorry for them i just hope they find the alternative way to deal with things i hope they learn how to communicate better i hope that they learn life is not a competition i hope that they learn that we don't have to judge or accuse others to get what we want in life that's how we find our own inner peace that's how we start forgiving ourselves because we put ourselves into their shoes and say they didn't have any other option. They couldn't do anything else. They're not in the privileged shoes that I wear where I've already been there and I've done this and they don't know the teachings and the learnings and the skills and the education that I've had. They don't know any other way. So I don't feel sorry for them. I just hope, hope that at some point someone will show them maybe it'll be me but somebody will show them that there are other ways of dealing with things so we don't create those grudges we don't create those issues or regrets that take us into a hell loop okay guilty feelings is all part of remorse and grudges when we feel guilty for something that we've done we are hanging on to that emotional attachment to that situation or event. So it's time to let go and release it. And say to yourself, I don't have to carry that with me anymore. Because now I let it go. Let it go. You know, have you ever heard where someone says you get a you get like a baseball? tennis ball type thing and you write on all the things that you don't want in your life anymore and then you toss that ball into a river pardon me so it's gone we release what we don't want anymore and then how do we truly heal it is when we say to ourselves I'm not going to put any more of my energy into it 
I'm not going to think about it anymore because the more I think about that person or I think about that situation, the more I'm giving it energy where it creates into my own reality. And I don't need it to be in my reality anymore because I've already healed the memory of it. So I'll let, thank you so much for your question. And I hope that's answered in my own perspective tonight of what truly happens. So we can forgive ourselves, for I have. It was a doozy with some of the things that I've done in my life. I don't ever have to go to those people and say, hey, did you feel that? I, I forgive you last night. Because they only have to forgive themselves for how they reacted to what I did. They don't have to react. They don't have to heal what I did to them. Okay? Hope it's helped you all. Okay? Love is all. I send white light to everybody. You know, someone said to me one day, she said, don't you come over here and pretend that you love us and give us a hug. <laughs> oh, my God. How much have they still got to learn, that person who said that? Because they can't fathom the depth of healing that I've undertaken. They can't. And I can't ever accuse or judge why they haven't. They can't. But that's where I say to them, I hope and pray that at some point you get it. So then you do understand why I do hug everybody. Even the ones who really hurt me. You know, the guy in America who caused me to go to heaven for five years, remember the night I died? I would run up to him, wrap my arms around him and say, thank you. Thank you. No grudge. No regret. No love. Because it's now equal. It's balanced. It's peace and when we realign emotional up and downs back to peace like in my last video how do we what is peace go and watch that one how do we acquire where we don't get energetically or emotionally triggered knee-jerk reactions or outbursts because it's peace that is what heaven, through the life review, ultimately obtains, is that peace. So of course we've got to heal it all. And there's no better time to start than right now. So I hope that the exercises that I've given in this video have helped. If not, watch it again. If you think this video is deserving to go to somebody who you think, well, they really do need to learn some things, send it over to them. Share my channel, okay? And if you do want to make the donation for tonight, if you've learned something, my PayPal link is below. All my books are now out. My spirit guide book is out. So I'll be doing a video about that and doing a couple of excerpts in the next couple of days. So stay tuned, guys. Good things are happening, okay? Love you all, and I'll talk soon. Bye.